Hi, welcome to Cut and Uncut with Bonnie and Daphne. My name is Daphne and I'm Cut. And I'm Bonnie Violet and I'm Uncut. Here we talk about all things trans. And then some. In this episode, we'll be reacting to The Big Push, I Shot the Sheriff, Road to Zion, and Hip Hop. I know you're super excited, renegades. We yes. also want to give a big shout out and a huge thank you to our Patreon members, Skylar Bean, Jacob Blankenship, Elizabeth, Danielle Loyal, and Bertha D. Hugs and kisses, everybody. Yes, and be sure to watch us on YouTube. Listen to listen and rate us on Spotify. I'm hoping to get us on Apple and stuff soon. Join us on the Patreon. Follow us on TikTok and get that merch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, how are you today, Bonnie? Let's cut. Let's start with some little small, small. I'm just a little small talk so people yes. can find us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm a little frazzled, but you know, like. Yeah. Yes, Woosa is shoveled. Woosa. Right. So we know that all the renegades are super excited. And we also want to give a huge thank you to all of you renegades because you guys have given us the big push. And we are super excited to bring you oh, the new I saw um, what you did there. I saw what you did there. Oh, the big push. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bonnie, give me a little, um, you know, I'm new to this. So break it down, sister. All right, so The Big Push was a dynamic band that emerged from Brighton's thriving busking scene mm -hmm. and made, made waves. Um, I was going to read this thing, but it sounds weird. Read but anyway, it. huh? Read it. Um, okay, let's see. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the big push, here we go, we'll go. Um, they met as buskers and continued to grow their audience by busking and posting videos of their street performances online. Such was the buzz that developed around them that the turnout of their street shows increased every time they played. The big push played both covers and their own songs, except their covers tended to be radically rearranged takes on, uh, radically rearranged takes on the original, with influences ranging from the Libertines to the White Stripes, the Black Keys, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. The Big Push developed their own innovative sound, and that is what we're going to listen to. And for like folks, Ren was a part of uh, the Big Push, and the Big Push, uh, they, it, from what I read, they they're no longer a group as of 2022, um, but it sounds like there might be, like they're open to maybe doing some things together again. So, and I could be wrong. So, folks, tell me if I'm wrong. They usually do, which is great. <laughs> That's how so, we learn. So tell me, what is busking, Bonnie? So we we talked about this, but Get down again because you know I'm slow, slow. I know, right? So busking <laughs> is when busking is is basically you know like when people set up on the street and they play their music and sing, collect tips, that sort of thing is called busking. Oh, so it's just, hustling in another word, or in another country, I guess. <laughs> Well, they, they happen to be in Brighton, like in the UK. And we, I mean, it happens in the big, like, I don't know. I know I saw them in San Francisco. I saw a lot of folks busking. Is that something in Chicago too? Kind of down by Macy's and stuff? Do you have people down? Down in the there? train stations, they do a lot of, of, of this. And then on the side of Macy's, they sing like, but I thought that was like Christmas caroling or they do the little buckets and things like that. Mm. So is that the same or no? It's similar, yeah. I mean, similar in the sense that they're street performers, and so, okay. um, but but that's kind of how they got big was just doing street performances and then uploading their videos, and you know, okay. it did well for them. So, well, let me tell you, honey, these red suspenders and this big old arm candy has got me excited all over <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah. So I picked there. I think there are a couple of versions of this. Um, I shot the sheriff. Okay. Um, but, um, this one was suggested with the red suspenders from one of our listeners who said that the sound is a little bit better in this one. So okay. I haven't, um, watched this myself either. Um, I've seen some of his busking videos just as a, like, I guess just to put it out there, but I haven't watched this one specifically all the way through. And it's, it's about seven and a half minutes long. I think it's like two or three songs, one right after the other. Sound good? So we're going to do one song comment. How are we going to? It's just one video. I'm assuming okay. it, it might, it has three, you know, like the three titles. So okay. I'm assuming there's three songs, but we'll see. Okay. Roll that tape, Bonnie. All right. Thank you. 
is a bit more showy than we're used to, huh? It's good. I'm trying. I'm like, like I don't even know what to tell you. I need a cigarette after all of this, <laughs> baby. All right, I'll let it go. <laughs> You sit all around in my hometown. People try to track me down. For a crime that I did not commit. Yes, if for a mother of a deputy. But I said What's that? I said under my breath as I'm sighing with all this sexual tension building up with this man's voice, his mm. guitar playing. And it, it, it's 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 great. My sister would probably be like, wow, because you know, she Bob Marner's her husband, so oh yeah. Um, she would truly enjoy this so far. So far. It kind of has like I think because it's it's reggae ish. Are you a fan of reggae? She is, not me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told you I'm a disco queen. Nothing phases me. <laughs> right, right. But I mean, he's obviously got a, his take, but you know, I've, but it, it sounds, there's obviously that kind of. He's um, got some soul in there. Influence. Yeah. Totally. Yes. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I said, Sheriff John Brown, that man hated me. For what? I just don't know Whenever I would try to plan to see He would say kill it before it grow He would say kill it before it grow But I say But I swear it wasn't self-defense. Oh, right, give it up for the main season, please, please, please. It was quite the crowd. You don't always see that big of a crowd at like on the streets, do you? Not unless they're giving away something. Right. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. No, have, we haven't had anyone join it. Well, there's people watching us now, but no, nobody in the comments yet. But oh, folks, cool. watching. Well, come on in, y'all. Yeah, interact with Tell us, us in the comments. what y'all think so far. Yes, we're and, just. Um, if I was 15, child, and living in London. <laughs> mm. Right. We'd have a bunch of little renegades running around. <laughs> I was I was reading as well. You know, there's a total of the four guys, mm -hmm. and uh, they they all kind of take turns being the lead person. So I think really, there, maybe we'll have an opportunity to hear some of the others take the lead. Obviously, Rin is in this particular one, but we'll wait to see. Okay. All right. Here we go.
dirty looks and grudges and jealousy. Media clowns, them when I'm beating their butt up, but they. Media clowns, them not when I'm doing that, 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 that. Boom. The young twin said to come on, more the damn slow. When I bust a trick of finger like bam bam me the do. When I bust a trick of finger, come on, here we go. First on the na na na, here we go. Hey. Got to keep it moving. I'm the road to Zion. Got to keep it burning. I'm the road to Zion. To keep it burning on the road, I got to keep it burning. Is it on a different song now? Can you tell? Do you know? <laughs> well, he's done. He's done. Done this so many different ways. I don't know where he at. Um, right. I remember. I remember reading up. Like I think on the title. I hate that. Um, I'm feeling so uncoordinated today. But yeah, like the. It says, I shot the sheriff and then rode to Zion. So I think this is rode to Zion. Okay. Because, you know, I know it's three little birdies. <laughs> <my doorstep. laughs> right? So, yeah, it's, it's, I guess it's going to be kind of like a mashup. Um, all right, we'll go back to it. <laughs> We can make it through the night. With a little bit of dust, we can make it through the night. With a little bit of dust, we can make it through the night. With a tiny, 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 Let's take it down, 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 Music when they hit, you feel no pain. Right folks, they control your brain. I'm no better than that. That's game. I'm me ready for that. Two soldiers ahead of a pack. My pack, he's got the guy. Grab my army, I got the right time. Not react, back to beat. Sit down, reflect on how many records get sold. On the drugs, I'm rock and roll. Whether your projects are on home. In the real world, world. We just people with ideas. We just like you and me when the smoke and camera disappear again. The real world. It's bigger than all these fake guys. I was like, that part sounded definitely like, you know, how people in the beginning were talking about. Red Hot Chili Pepper vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of gave me that vibe there. The little faster talk. He went in from, now that's what I could see mashup is when you start mash, you know how you do the mashup when you dance and stop knocking into people. I think that's what mm -hmm. they call mashup. Um, but um, it gives you a whole bunch. I mean, you go from high to low to cool to, he just brings the, the tempo so many different ways and it's so eclectic. And um, I mean, I'm looking at the audience, they're like, yeah, yeah, you know, some people, in high, it. you know, first they got the <laughs> reggae tone, you know what I'm saying, you mellow and wow. I mean, it's just a whole genre of different things all in, was that one or two songs? The, well, we're in the third song now. We're in the third song. Yeah, the last song is called Hip Hop. Okay. So when you started hearing that, they kind of went into more of the, I guess it was, yeah. So it kind of just started, but you know, and then there was a moment where it sounded a lot more like maybe Scotty. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Kind of a little bit faster. Um, yeah, but but he does have a way of just it's smooth transition from one into the next. It all makes sense. Yeah. And what about and what about when he's singing and he, you know, he brought in his natural deep voice, like his little Barry White voice. Mm. I was like, okay. Yeah, I saw I your you. I saw your eyes light up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think. There's, it's definitely different, like <laughs> watching, 
watching this busking video is definitely a completely different vibe than watching the music videos in some ways. Um, it's not like, I think it's different in this. I don't, I am enjoying it, but I don't think I'm enjoying it in the same way. And then also, you know, he's a lot more showy and, you know, performative, I guess, but that's really what it, that's what it takes when you're, um, like that's that's just what it takes when you're working on the streets. Carrie found Carrie us. Carrie! How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I know she she found us. I know we haven't gotten into a schedule schedule yet, so <laughs> we're still figuring this out. Glad you could join us, Carrie. We're just you know doing the the big push tonight, and we're just almost in the tail end. We're at the hip hop. Um part of the song. <laughs> that was dumb. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> yes, we did say Monday. It is Monday. Sí, señorita. All day. Here we go. Good. When my four foes got the millions and my woman's disrespected. If you check one team, I would have advised to you. Just relax. If that don't work, then do what you got to do. And kick the facts. If you a liar, liar, wolf, cryer, bush cryer, agent with a wire. I'ma know it when I play it. But then if you a liar, liar, mouth on cryer, pants on fire, agent with the wire. I'ma know it when I play it. It's bigger than a hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip. It's still bigger than a hip. What was that? You guys love Mariah in there. <laughs> Mariah Carey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was nice for sure. Yeah, I could definitely tell. I think yeah, to be like to be there like live would be like a really cool experience for sure. For sure. Especially on a hot summer day, I'm like all into it, especially the suspenders. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I always, I always have a way of like stopping it just before, like, you know, when it's got like three seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> you just shook it all out. Shake all that rhythm yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was pretty good. What'd you I think? I enjoyed that. I, um, you know, you know, this is when my Virgo comes out, Bonnie. Mm. The last one that I, we did when he had the sisters in there and they were, yeah. you know, doing the backup totally different vibe i mean this man i now i see why we have so many renegades out there because he is so eclectic he is so excuse me different with his style yeah yeah but it's all but it's all him you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah definitely i um and like yeah and a lot of the comments and stuff i don't know if you checked him out but but you know we've in the past we've talked about you know he's he just had the number one on the charts um, in UK. So he has what? been getting, yeah, he, it was like, actually like, I think it was about a month or so ago that he had, he was number one on the charts, uh, in it's the about UK. About freaking time. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, he's, yeah, he's definitely. Did he, so let me, let me get this right. So that means that if he's on the charts, does that mean he now has a record deal? I don't, I think he's all independent. Okay, so um, if anybody yeah. knows about anything like that, put it in the comments because I'm very curious to um, see it's, how his career is going because this is, he seems like a force that is um, to be reckoned with, you know? So mm -hmm. I'm really excited all, for him, but to also to see what he's going to do. I think he's all independent and, you know, I mean, he, he uses social media, he uses YouTube, you know, like mm -hmm. I think he knows how to use the resources probably better than most record labels. And so, oh yeah, Carrie says YouTube helped. Okay, no Carrie, record thank deal. You. Yeah, he had he did have a record deal when he was younger, um, yeah, but he ended up, you know, needing to let that go because of his health, mm -hmm. I believe. But he gets to keep all the royalties and everything the way he's doing it, right? It's all his production, and you know, I don't know. How yeah, and most of his videos, like this, I think this video had like 
12 million views on it or something like that. He's got over, it's like, I think 1.6 million subscribers on uh, YouTube. So um, yeah, I think he's just, you know, he's been able to, you know, he kind of came up, you know, doing the busking on the streets and posting mm -hmm. videos and kind of just really doing the social media thing to build his base. And I think, you know, he's doing just as good as any other, you know, pop artist who has a label, I think, or not pop, but, you know, another artist, yeah. a label. Well, that's fantastic. I can't believe you had this a secret for me all this time. Bonnie. I wasn't, it wasn't a secret necessarily. You need to read our comments so you can get educated too. Don't be trying to put, put me out there in front of all of our, our fans. This was crap because I put do eat them. <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> Oh, he's strictly trying to stay independent. That's kind of what I thought. That he was, I mean, so much of his, and you haven't heard some of these songs, but he has like a whole series on money. Um, and so like he's, he's, he definitely has a lot of criticism about um, like government and the, the greed and money and um, a lot of things like that. So I think to some degree, uh, staying independent is, is kind of a way to kind of combat that as well, I think, you know? See, I'm reading Carrie's comments, so don't be saying I don't read our comments. I know you do. I'm just teasing. <laughs> I was, uh, you know, we recently did that one. I don't know if I told you this, but I was reading the comments. So we, you know, our recent video that we did on our podcast mm -hmm. side of it, you know, when we went through all the LGBTQ, yeah, um, yeah, SIA plus or whatever, yeah. and there's, it's, it's really interesting. To, it's really interesting how like some. We've been getting some responses and some aren't so cute, but there was this one guy that was like, um, I'm heterosexual and I'm proud. And I was like, well, our, I said, everyone's welcome on this channel. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been really interesting. A lot of the bi um, talk about bi biphobia and bisexuality was the ones that seemed to really hit on TikTok and um, here hit is not made you know hit for us is a few hundred views maybe a thousand or so but <laughs> we made it right right no it's been it's been a lot of fun so yeah i was just that's all i had for tonight as far as like to react to um and so well can we do this time every week for the most part yeah um so we could commit to seven o'clock stop trying to um Put me on the spot, Bonnie. This is your third or fourth time this evening trying to let me have it. Shouldn't everyone be? Come on, Carrie. I agree with you. Everybody should be proud of themselves. But you know what? It takes a lot of digging in to get mm. to that spot, that sweet spot, and being proud of who you are. Because, you know, society can be a little monster on her own. Yeah. Not, you know, so. Well, I think that's the other half where it says safe to be themselves, too. You know, that's the other part. Yes, Carrie, that, that is right, Bonnie. Safe to be themselves. Yes, um, I get it because I, I've looked at some some things and I've seen some people just really go in and bash people for trying to be happy for themselves. Mm -hmm. And not everybody is going to be, you know what I mean? It takes a lot to even love yourself, much less even be proud of yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Carrie. Right. There's my heart again. Oh, one do one. your hearts. There you go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I love that we figured that out. <laughs> the hearts are all for her. Yeah. Um, well, I'll have to read through the um, read through the comments and see which uh, which one we should do best because there's a lot. Oh, this one says Ravi and Serana says, "Could you watch Olive enters Wow Factor?" Is that Olive enters Wow Factor? Hi, Ravi and Serana. Yes, so cool. And then I'm not sure what that is. At first, I thought it was like a Rin thing. It's worth watching on stream. I'll have to check it out. It's a YouTube video. And is it is it Ren? Or is it like what's it about? Tell us. Give us a little history, Robbie. Give us a little. Give us a little more. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're new here. <laughs> we don't even go here. <laughs> I know, right? Um. But yeah, we'll have to check it out. But we'll also check out like the rest of the comments. I mean, we have a list of uh, songs to react to. So um, I'll just, I don't know, pick something. What is there a certain vibe you want to go with? And we've, we've done busking. We did more of the storytelling. Um, we did some of the rap stuff. Um, what, what more would you like? 
Well, Carrie's our number one fan. Um, oh, maybe Carrie has a suggestion. Robbie family says it's family friendly, friendly brings back childhood memories. Search it up, please. All right, we'll, we'll check it out. I don't, this is not spammy. <laughs> I don't know, you know. Reaching out. Really <laughs> but we'll check it out. Um, again, maybe if Carrie's got something, we could watch that. But let's not be late. Should we be done? We should be done. Be Mama, done until Mama next. turns into a pumpkin, sort in, of, after. Until next week. And, we're, and we'll be here. We'll be here again on Thursday. Well, live. Thursday, yes, Bonnie. Give us a, how do you do that thing? Um, uh, when you tell people tune in next time. <laughs> and next time. I mean, I can say that, but that doesn't sound right. You can join us live next next on um, Thursday, the ninth. We're going to do like a reaction to Dylan Mulvaney's new song, who's a trans artist who's gotten a lot of flack for for the song and so we're gonna watch it for ourselves and see what it's all about and it's trans day of visibility on sunday so we'll talk about visibility as well um and yeah that's gonna be on thursday if you're wanting to be a part of more of that and then we'll react to another video next monday night thank you so for joining us tonight we truly appreciate your company it means a lot to us Rin, dear God. Okay. There we go. Write that down, Bonnie. I Oh, and then, oh, there's also, oh, wow. There's also um, Castle in the Sand. Write that down, Bonnie. Dear God. Well, why do I have to write it down? It's in the video. <laughs> I can just play it back. <laughs> oh, you yeah. showed the age, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you want to say good night and do your little hearts and then I'll yes, yes. in stream? We'd like to thank everybody for joining us this evening. It was truly an amazing journey. You know, I got to see Ren in his sexy red suspenders and shake his guitar out, which kind of drove me into a tizzy. Um, then good night, Carrie. Tune in next week, as Bonnie said, so we can give you some more um, reaction videos. We're going to take a look at some of the comments that you also mentioned, Robbie. Um, love hair grease and what is my saying bonnie I we love you until you can love yourself i stopped listening to you about 30 minutes ago <laughs> okay i'm totally anyway bye-bye <laughs>